What's going on guys? ETF here with DC Fishing. This channel will be linked down below in the description. And today we have this fish finder here. So let's take a quick close look at the box. And here is the box itself. It is a Garmin Equimap UHD 95 SV plus transducer. It is a nine inch touchscreen unit. There is the top of the box. The back of the box, nine inch display. You can pause and look at the specs here. Um, this tells you all the specs. It also has right there, 13,500 lakes in Canada. That is, uh, and yeah, just here's all the specs. It is panoptics ready as well. So like live scope and yeah. Here is the back of the box. Mm, barely any information. There's a side. Nothing special. And same thing on the other side. So yeah, let's unbox it real quick. See you there. And we are back with the Garmin UHD 95 SV Plus Transducer. So let's get right into it. And the first thing that you are going to see when you pull out the top of the box is your fish finder right here and some pink bubble wrap. It comes with this Garmin card case for weather so then it doesn't get screen doesn't get damaged or scratches. They're very expensive and just pop it open and there is the screen itself right there. It's a nine inch display unit and is a touch screen as well. For a close up here, there it is right there. It has the tray here to put your SD cards in, uh, plus zoom, power button, one, two, three, four, and then yeah, that's it. And then this is it on the back. There are pins right there to plug it in and then up top right here is your quick detach and yeah. So now that this is out of the way, just snaps right back in. Let's get on with the rest of the box. So next, we're gonna just have this cardboard thing right here. Then you're gonna get this, which is the mount that you drill into your boat. As you can tell, let's get close up here. As you can tell right there, it says Garmin. You have your Panoptics plug right there. This comes off, uh, same with your sonar. And then your NEMA 2000, whatever that is. And then your power cord goes right there. As you can tell, the quick detach, here's a lever right here. There's your pins for the back of the uh, fish finder. This little cover, so when you're not using it. And then to unscrew this, you're just gonna turn these knobs here towards you on, uh, and this one's actually gonna be away from you. And then you can, so when you're on the boat, you can tilt it forward, backwards, whatever you want, and then just screw it the opposite ways that you screwed it to lock it in place and then it does not move and yeah so that's that just gonna put it back real quick there just like so have this off to the side and now the next thing in the box which is this great big bag right here so yeah, let's dive right into this bag. You have, first off, I believe this right here. This is your transducer cord. The transducer is in here as well in this plastic wrapping. Put that off to the side. This is just so you don't scratch anything. You just stick that on the bottom. It does come with your Garmin sticker. Right there, you can put it on your boat, truck, motor, whatever you want. 
Now, I'm pretty sure this is your power cord. I'm not right there is your fuse box. Pretty yeah, positive. Uh, what else? Oh, this right here is just a clamp for your wires. So if they're too long, you can clamp it to make them shorter. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure you can't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure this is for your transducer. And yeah. Then you have this also for your transducer to screw on to the very back of your boat. You have your bolts right there and then your little thingy that you put on the transducer. What else do we have here? We have another thing. I'm pretty sure this is for your transducer as well. This is probably just another mount because I know one of the two in there are for your trolling motor if you want to put your front of the boat. You have your Garmin Clearview transducer transom trolling motor mount just like a little manual here. That's that right there. Another thing for your... Oh, so this thing right here goes over your power cable, I'm pretty sure, so then water doesn't get in there and it doesn't get wrecked. Then you have your transom mount template for your transducer. It's just a little cutout right there. Don't really know why you need that. Four screws. And last in the bag. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe it looks like for some cords or something. I'm not quite too sure. I'll tell you the manual though. So yeah, now let's get on with the rest of the box. And last in the box, let's open this up for the last one. You have your Garmin Echomap UHD owner's manual right here. The back. It's, it's pretty thick. And then your sheet for just drilling holes and whatnot. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped for when it comes to buying your fish finder and I hope this just helps clarifying things. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And go follow this guy, DC Fishing, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.